can pull this off. I'm surprising my family and taking a bus to LA for our family reunion. I went back and forth about it, said I wasn't going, said I was going, and now I'm going. So they don't have any ideas. So let me see if I can do it. Many unbearable hours later. Y'all, I look like what I've been through. We finally made it to our first bus stop, but it was kind of hell getting here. But it's okay, I'm gonna give me something to drink. And hopefully I can take a nap for the rest of the trip. Ice cold water and like Gatorade. But not enough. Body armor. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Judy, what's your trip? Wonderful. Yeah, I know which one. The last one. I'm by the pool. Nobody's here. So I was like, let me come record right quick while I got a second to talk. Got here on Friday night late. I was trying to surprise my family. They didn't know I was coming. I went back and forth about whether I was going or not. At first I said I'm I'm coming, then I was like no. And I ended up talking to one of my coworkers. I think it was earlier this week, and she was like, you know, I really think you should go. And I was like, but I don't know if I want to go. And she was like, I really think you should go. Problem was, there was a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people came to visit Vegas like a week or so ago around um, 4th of July. I just kind of was a little burnt out. And then I also had some bills I have to pay that I still have to pay. But I was able to rearrange some stuff around. And I was like, let me just go ahead and try to go. I did that and then decided like let me take the bus and I'll get there <laughs> um, the bus was an experience too so like we had to wait for like an hour and a half because the bus was late it was pretty bad and um, very hot I think it was dangerous because it was like 115 our normal summer temps and like not enough water we could have like died from heat exhaustion in all honesty besides that everything else was fine trying to get get here bus got here around 11 30 i think the bus driver made some pretty decent time so i was the last one to get off the bus and i got an, uh, a lift over to the hotel and i'm lucky i had like addresses and stuff because like otherwise i don't think i would have been able to pull this off and I was so anxious about coming in to surprise them because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to give it away because I'm not a good liar. So <laughs> I, I was so anxious the entire day and then um, ended up making it without anybody suspecting anything. And of course, as soon as I get dropped off, my nephew is in the lobby and the timing was just so perfect. And I called his name and he just saw me and he couldn't even believe it, he ran. It was such a beautiful moment. And then he took me upstairs. Um, I saw my sister and her boyfriend. Ended up seeing my dad and he, <laughs> I think he was the most surprised. And then my mom and my little nieces. 
so I'm just happy I got to surprise them. We still have more family reunion stuff. I missed the thing on Friday, so I was too late for that. We're on our way to something in a little bit and gonna surprise some more family. I just realized this was a good moment to try to see my folks and just to kind of put some of the drama aside because if y'all saw my Thanksgiving video, yeah, that stuff has been kind of weird at home. So I've just been kind of a little iffy about certain family functions. But, you know, everybody's getting older. My mom definitely is, and so is my dad. I just realized we may not have that many more opportunities for us to be together where most of the family's together and that I should take a... Uh, take advantage of that. As you guys know, Los Angeles is an ancestral land for me. I have a lot of family history here. And also, as you guys know, I have some past traumas that have happened here. So sometimes it's a little hard to get here now after everything, but I do still love it here and I wanna to continue to love LA even though I've been through things here and my family has been through things here, but I still feel really good when I come here. It is one of my happy places. Just kind of pushed through it and came anyway. Yesterday we went to Cheesecake Factory with one of my mom's old students. Like one of her first classes that she ever taught um, when she became a teacher. One of her students took us out to Cheesecake Factory and we took the girls to Marina Del Rey so they could play out on the beach water. After that, we ended up going to El Torito's um, for Mexican food. Um, I don't know who was cooking back there, but it was just okay. Nobody was really um, impressed. So that's all right. I, I feel like they were very busy yesterday night, so that's probably why the quality wasn't there, but it was okay. And then um, today we went to Cafe Vita's, which was so good. It was brunch, and they had the best pancakes, like the best pancakes. I wish I was exaggerating, but um, <laughs> they were very good. And we spent that time with some of my mom's co-workers. Um, from many many years ago when she was a teacher here in LA so that was nice I go home in a few hours my mom bought me a plane ticket as soon as she found out I <laughs> as soon as she saw me came come through the door she bought me a plane ticket so my flight is at like 9 30 and it's to like two something now so we're gonna go and see the rest of my family in a little bit I just wanted to come and record and kind of give like a debrief of what's been going on because I haven't really got a chance to talk. Our hotel room is a little packed since I got there. It's just been busy. We kind of been go, go, going. Oh, and I forgot to say, we saw um, my cousin from Arkansas. He lives in Laguna now and he's doing really, really well. I'm super, super proud of him. He's doing so, so good. We saw him last night as well. grandmother and my grandfather they're buried a little bit away from here just want to give gratitude and thanks to them for getting me here recently moved there from Virginia uh, under uh, a lot of circumstances but uh, here we are no. and uh, looking forward to uh, talking to everyone here today and uh, Having some more fun. And uh, this is our daughter, Michaela, our baby. I grew up here in Santa Monica, California. And Renee and I have been friends for years and years. We're from New York, and hey, we're glad we both none of us live here anymore. I'm Michaela. I'm Renee's granddaughter. Um, I'm Michaela's daughter. I'm Michaela's daughter. It's not obvious. I definitely sold her face. <laughs> <laughs> Good food, good people, you know, good yes, time. Yes.